before he left his bed, she found him God. And she was very proud of her God. She's telling us that we are not just ordinarily born again, we should always be proud of who we say to ourselves. And wherever we go, we should take our God with us. The Bible tells us in Daniel chapter 11 verse 32, Daniel 11 32, that those who know their God, they shall be strong in God and they will be exposed. Because this lady, this lady, knew her God. He was able to sell it to the, the, uh, the master who was a leper. As he knew a prophet who could help him in Samaria. And how many of us are proud of what God can do and what he's doing? And we can witness about him when we are every time. This is very important. The testimony we give to other people is very important. And I pray that anywhere we go, we will not be ashamed of our God. Mm -hmm. We will always say that our testimony for the help of others in the name of Jesus. Amen. And also, I want to say that not everything, every good thing needs to be purchased by money. Mm -hmm. It's not everything needs to be purchased by money. Mm -hmm. uh, what that lady, what maid, that maid did, if it were a consultant mm -hmm. to do it, probably could have charged millions that the, the, the leper, uh, that neighbor could have willingly paid. But uh, this one that she gives more than millions, mm -hmm. just introduction to the healer, mm -hmm. the prophet, whom they did not think that, oh, how will he be able to do what he said he could do? But that advice was weightier than any millions of naira or shekel in their own time. And thank God that finally the man yielded to that advice. So what advice do we give? Abigail gave advice. David told Abigail in 1 Samuel 25 that yours is a great advice. Because that is our advice. Did not allow a neighbor to be killed immediately. What advice do we give to people? What counsel do we give? Do we believe our God? Do we testify about his goodness and his power? This is very important. We may not have anything. It's not everything that is money, money. There are other things that are value more than money. And I pray this kind of virtue will be our portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Okay. First, that's all. Hallelujah. We are looking at Second Kings of uh, five, from verse one to three. 2 Kings 5, 1-3. A lot of uh, beautiful things have been said. Um, I might mention one or two of them later on. But before, because of time, let me go straight to my own points. First point I see here, that I think we need to take note of, is the power of the word but. Everything, the word B U T, but everything that was said about Neman, his success, his fame, his influence, his wealth, was destroyed by a single word, but it was a leper. Now that word, but, uh, many people fear it because um, many people, far people pray that God will remove the but in their lives because they attach it to a reproach. 
But the word but can also be a powerful word when you connect it with something that can be terrible. If you be listing a lot of terrible things and then you say but, then the other side is going to be beautiful things. For example, Psalm 34 verse 19, Psalm 34 verse 19 says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him from them all. So you see, the part there is a very beautiful one because it's shifting from evil to good. And then when you read Psalm 68 from verse 1 to 3, Psalm 68 from verse 1 to 3, let the Lord arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let the wicked perish uh, just as wax before fire before him. And then when he gets to verse 3, he said, But let the righteous be glad and rejoice. So we see but but there, again, moving us to something very precious, very beautiful. As a passage that I have from my father for the first time before I knew it was in the Bible, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 2. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 2, and it sunk into my little head. And it says, the treasures of wickedness Profited nothing, but righteousness delivers from death. So the word "but" is a very small word, but very, very powerful. I think we should take note of that. The second thing is, of course, what many of us have mentioned: the power of testimonies. This girl testified about a God. And it led to a lot of beautiful things. Healing for Neymar. Neymar bringing the worship of Jehovah to his land, etc., etc. If Bartimaeus had not heard testimonies in Mark chapter 10 from verse 46 to 52 Mark 10 46 to 52 he would have died a blind man the reason he began to cry for mercy was he heard that Jesus was passing by if he hadn't heard of what Jesus had done to others and Jesus is passing by, okay, so who is it? But where he had been sitting down there, begging arms by the gate, he had always heard, I mean by the roadside, he had had people talking. There is a man who can raise the dead. There is a man who can do something. What is his name? Oh, Jesus, Jesus. So when suddenly he heard a lot of people passing by and he said, who is he passing by? And he said, Jesus, ah, that one I've heard about. The power of testimonies. And many of us who just listen to testimonies and we don't make use of them. The power of testimonies is simply based on the fact that what he has done for others, he can do for me. And then, of course, there is the fact that, uh, like somebody mentioned, uh, that this girl was captured, as is written here. She was captured to become a vessel of development. God knows the end from the beginning. Everything that is happening to you today has a purpose. And if you handle the matter very well, the purpose will be glorious. Romans chapter 8, verse 28, 
Romans 8, verse 20 says, All things work together for good to them that love God. So there might be failures that God will turn around to success. Uh, uh, share the testimony of the interview I took for Commonwealth Scholarship, where I answered all the questions in mathematics correctly. And the chairman was sleeping, and when they woke him up, the question he asked is, where is Entebbe? Where is Entebbe? And I thought that was a geography question. So I said, I'm sorry, sir, I'm not here for geography. And everybody laughed. And because they laughed at him, of course I didn't know who he was, who he was. I lost the scholarship. But because I lost the scholarship, not because of my own inability. As I was stepping out, I met a former lecturer who was my lecturer at the University of Nigeria, Msuka. What are you doing here? I did we have come for us, uh, interview for Common West Fellows. He said, ah, I know you. You don't have to go anywhere. Come to the University of Lagos. I will supervise you. Mm. It is because of that incident mm. that I got born again when I got born again. That I ended up becoming a pastor. Like I keep telling the story. Because of that failure. That's why I'm talking to you this morning. Mm. All things work together for good to them who are called by the Lord who, who love God. This girl loved the Lord and her captivity turned out to be good. There's another important thing uh, what somebody had mentioned that one and that is that you should be careful how you treat your acquaintances. Be careful how you treat those people you meet, those people you work with, those people you live with, because they will be your connection to your destiny. They will be. Uh, in Genesis chapter 40, Joseph met some prisoners. He interpreted their dreams. The old of Genesis chapter 40 speaks about those two people. It is one of them who remembered him in Genesis 41 that he finally got to be on the throne. Uh, there are so many examples I could give you in that. Way back in 1973, we were living in Surrey, like the radio, so and we had an, a night guard, a new summer. And you, you know, mommy, night guard or no night guard, he was well treated. And after some time, he said he was leaving us. Well, because he got a job in a company that we are, you know, was able to pay him much more than we are paying. Then there was a water crisis in Lagos. I'm talking of complete water shortage. That lasted for days. Oh, people were drinking Coke, Fanta, and after some time discovered that it doesn't even quench the taste. And we sent our little children out to go and look for water. They carried little, little jerry cans. And they met our former night girl. Ah, my little friend, he said, what do you want water? He said, follow me. His company had big water reservoirs. Mm -hmm. He filled the and of our children, they came back home. Where do you find water? They told us the story. That water was more than gold. We were dying of thirst. There was no water to cook with. 
forget about taking your bath. You never can tell where you're going to meet that acquaintance again. Maybe I should tell you one more story about along that line because it's very, very important that you be careful how you treat your acquaintance. A lion was sleeping in the jungle, and you know the lion is the king of the jungle. And a, a rat was playing about, little rat. He didn't know that it was the lion, thought it was some log of wood, so he began to walk up and down the lion. <laughs> and the lion woke up and caught it. Hey, you disturb my sleep. Even the voice alone is almost enough to death on the rat. And the rat said, hey, don't kill me, don't kill me. I can help you in the future. The lion looked at the rat. You help me? In any case, you are not enough of food. <laughs> you have just made me laugh. So you release the rat. Days later, the rat was passing again through the jungle and he had the lion crying pain. So he came. Ah, my friend, why are you in pain? What's the problem? He said, can't you see the net? <laughs> because the hunter has set a, a trap for the lion and the lion is caught in a big net and can't escape. So the lion said to the rat, the man who set this net will soon come and will probably shoot me to death. Ah, the rat said, that's, that's no problem. I'm small, but my teeth are sharp. <laughs> so he began to cut the net. One bit there, one bit there, one bit there. Very soon, he has created a hole large enough for the lion to escape. You may be the lion today. Be careful how you deal with rats. They might help you in the future. Uh, the time is gone, that should be enough for you now. But one final thing, this girl was not named. Many of the verses of the honor in the Bible were not named. Many of them. One is the one you will find in John chapter 6, from verse 5 to 13. John 6, 5 to 13. The boy who gave his lunch to Jesus Christ, they did not tell us his name. And the reason is so that you can put your name there. I pray that you will be a first one to honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you, Mr. Ruba. Only pay. Um, Obago <laughs> Jerry, <laughs> 
Olorun ni wa ni Samaria e to ba do oliwa kon ba so apolopo awon eyan lo ti fiye da ise kon alufa lorun e to ba do do alufa wa to ba gba do ni golo ko ba e na ma so kale ah eko ko ma bi won je ki ko na o se gba do lorun ko re e tu ma be ni bi to ta ma ba ni wa ka sa ma je ri ah mo bi to lorun mo wa lo wa ye o ka ki sara pa se ni ku wa si awon ta ba yo n gbe ta bi ta ba pa de to ri a ma bi to lorun mo ni ka lu ku lo a ma bi ti ojo la ma gun le si om o ra gbe ni kan dire ba ni o to ti oge ba lo lo ku lo ko ni so fun yawo ga yan bi pe ma bo in church you are he said you have music to be a walker who knew a lot to walk oh my walker the church yeah walker the bala while i do me yeah walker so far when i went to me by a sort of you to bro no yeah now what's the church for how i tell you me a pass a one in your love before that court lady in a pass a way did i buy you part of a mom e jo to ti bi ti won ti bere yen tu sita o ti le legbe mu o ba je pe ilopuru na lo direba moya iba mama la nu eni te bo na se ba se rele ni to won lo wo o mo bi to ti ma yo si e lo la to ri eni la ri olona ta lo ru to ni ola ta je ko la o dara o se ni to wa ba ni pe ma darupo ara benin yo won ri wi pe ko ko to pe ka darupo ni abi wi pe olorun pa yi yen sile pe ti won na ni pe pe aye o ti e mo mi ti ba se kare olorun a a mo a ba de joba orun ni se a ka de de pa de ni katani especially je mo mi ba io per molto più ieri eh e mi ne ha rapito di tanto la vetro qua su con la mani tu fili uso a ma ba pa di loro eh con lo lupo tu li pe odor pe tu o fry ko fara si po ye odor ba de lo eh una tinpe am a rapere to un tanpe na se e o le o le to e na o si no wa ni se to kere ju obirin yen lo awo o te se run ti wa ara birin yen e ru lo un o si pe baba e wa be re lo wa ni body awa ba yi o ba ko ba ya to pe en ka de de wo pe baba la ma ja pe o to lo le oko Thank <laughs> you.